Mr. Whalen Reads! Hi, friends, it's Mr. Whalen here. I have brought you another story. This one is called Jabari Jumps. Jabari Jumps. It was written and illustrated by Gaia Cornwall, who also did the other Jabari book we read, Jabari Tries, where he tried to make the flying machine with his sister, remember? Well, here, as you can see where he is, on top of the high dive, looking down into the swimming pool, way down there, Jabari wants to try jumping from the high dive. If you've ever jumped from a high dive, it can be a pretty scary thing. Maybe you've gone up there and had a second thought, changed your mind, go back down. That's okay. Jabari finds out that sometimes we get a great idea, oh, I'm gonna do this so bad because everybody else is doing it, it looks like fun. We get up there, we try, it's a little bit scary for us. It's okay, it's okay to be scared trying things the first time. It's okay to wait and try them later. And sometimes we go and somebody can help us and encourage us and make us feel better and maybe a little bit stronger and more confident. And then we get up and try it and it turns out it was okay. So let's see what happens with Jabari when he really wants to jump from that high dive. How does he handle it? How does he get his courage? This was a great book to read. I had fun reading it and sharing it with you, and I hope you enjoy it too. Jabari Jumps by Gaia Cornwall. Jabari Jumps. I'm jumping off the diving board today, Jabari told his dad. Really? said his dad. The diving board was high and maybe a little scary, but Jabari had finished his swimming lessons and passed his swim test, and now he was ready to jump. I'm a great jumper, said Jabari, so I'm not scared at all. Jabari watched the other kids climb the long ladder. They walked all the way out to the end of the board, as big as tiny bugs, then they stood at the edge, they spread their arms, bent their knees, and sprang up, up, up. And then they dove down, down, down. Splash! Looks easy, Jabari said. But when his dad squeezed his hand, Jabari squeezed back. Jabari stood at the bottom of the ladder. He looked up. You can go before me if you want, he told the kid behind him. I need to think about what kind of special jump I'm going to do. Jabari thought and thought. Jabari started to climb up and up. This ladder is very tall, he thought. You okay? called his dad. I'm just a little tired, said Jabari. Maybe you should climb down and take a tiny rest, said his dad. A tiny rest sounded like a good idea. When he got to the bottom, Jabari remembered something. I forgot to do my stretches, he said to his dad. Stretching is very important, said his dad. I think tomorrow might be a better day for jumping, Jabari said. They looked up at the diving board together. It's okay to feel a little scared, said his dad. Sometimes, if I feel a little scared, I take a deep breath and tell myself I am ready. And you know what? Sometimes it stops feeling scary and feels a little bit like a surprise. Jabari loves surprises. Jabari took a deep breath and felt it fill his body from the ends of his hair right down to the tips of his toes. Jabari looked up. He began to climb. Up and up and up and up until he got to the top. Jabari stood up straight. He walked all the way to the end of the board. His toes curled around the rough edge. Jabari looked out as far as he could see. He felt like he was ready. I love surprises, 
he whispered. He took a deep breath, spread his arms, and bent his knees. Then he sprang up, up off the board, flying. Jabari hit the water with a splash. Down, down, down he went. And then back up. Whoosh. Jabari, you did it, said his dad. I did it, said Jabari. I'm a great jumper. And you know what? What, said his dad. Surprise double backflip is next.